Hey, welcome back everybody. I got my hands on the uh, Mountain Blanc uh, Great Characters uh, fountain pen here. This is the special edition. Uh, this has only been available through online and some limited stores when it was released. But uh, it sold out and I was able to get a hold of this. If you're a car collector, this is one, one pen you got to add to your collection. Is you can see how that nice that detail and everything is on this uh, fountain pen. Actually, also it's available in a pen as well. But uh, we'll take a closer look and see all the detail of it. Uh, and again, if you guys happen to uh, need any help, uh, thanks to Don sent this over uh, from the Mont Blanc store in Caesar's Palace. So if you guys ever need any help, uh, give him a call. He'll help you guys out and you can get things that you know sometimes you won't be able to find. But he's really good at it. So yeah, once again, let's uh, let's take a closer look uh, and see all the nice detail of this pen. All right, so let's take a closer look at the uh, Mont Blanc uh, Great Characters Enzo Ferrari Special Editions uh, fountain pen here. Like I was mentioning to you, uh, this one is not available any longer. I mean, they sold out uh, online from Mont Blanc, but again, if you guys need anything, contact Donald over at the boutique store in Caesars Palace. He'll help you guys up at the Mont Blanc store. So yeah, this is what comes in here. It's got that nice booklet here. Uh, it's got the Enzo Ferrari uh, signature. It's got his picture there with the car he was driving. It's got that nice um, um, uh, embossed uh, Mont Blanc there. Hopefully that comes out in the, on the camera here. So, But in here, it's got a quick... Um, it's got just kind of like a little... Uh, just kind of shows you, I think, a service guide. Uh, it's got, just kind of gives you a little detail and a little history behind the pen, uh, what everything is, uh, you know, kind of the legend. Just kind of, you know, just something simplified. As you can see here, it's got the uh, steering wheel there and it's got the 4810 for the height of the mountain, Mont Blanc Mountains up uh, the peak. And again, this has the uh, uh, 8... 585 tip, 14 carry, uh, 14 carry uh, tip here. So, you know, it's, it's nice, got Mont Blanc in there, but I'll go, I won't go too much there. See, and then once again, let's take a quick, nice, it's got a nice little box. Uh, as you can see here, very nice. Uh, I like the nice picture that it has on there. Uh, it's very, very well done by Mont Blanc here. And inside here, as you open it up, it's got the nice uh, velour velvet, uh, enclosure in here holder you can pull this out if you would like and then just kind of display it, the, the the fountain pin here this is a nice collector so if you are a car collector you're gonna want to add this to your collection so um yeah let's uh, take a closer look at the detail on this like i was mentioning to you it's got a very nice detail in here and here on the uh the clip here you can see uh, hopefully it shows up on the on the video there let me see if I can get that at a, at a certain angle here so I can get that to focus for you guys. Uh, it's got the, you know, it says you cannot describe passion. You can only live it. So that's very nice. It got that engraved in there. It's got right here uh, Ferrari as well. I don't know. If, hopefully that catches in the video there as well there. And it's got the Ferrari uh, horse there as well. Very nice, very nice, uh, very well done on there. You know, the, just kind of the detail in there. I like how they've done. Up here in the top, it's got the, what they call the, kind of that like the skeleton, uh, because they've never had anything like this, where the actually, you know, the emblem or the icon of Mont Blanc is not really that white, n normal, uh, generic, not generic, but the uh, white emblem that they always use. This one has the kind of like a 3D. It's got the silver, the lining up here in the top, and it's got the yellow underneath it for the Ferraris. And again, it's got the official uh, racing, I believe, Ferrari. It's so small, it's kind of hard to read, but maybe in the video, it'll pick it up in there. So, but yeah, it's very nice. It's got the nice details in there. Again, there's the uh, horse there that you can see. Hopefully that picks up on the video. And again, this is a nice resin finish. The color red right on here is, again, is the kind of, it represents the color of the cars, the Ferrari car in here. So that's very nice. You can see uh, details here. It's kind of like the front of the car right here. Part of the front fenders in here, you can see that shape with that detail that it has on this, on this pin that they've 
they've done here. Again, it's got the little notches from the side of the fenders. Uh, it's got the grooves that goes across. So that's very nice of it. And then like here uh, at the bottom, you can see it's got the 1802 through uh, 1898. So that's pretty nice. Uh, it's also got the years on there. So very, very well done. And then inside here, oh, this I got to show you guys this. Um, it's very easy when, you know, this is a fountain pen, of course. And it's, you know, when you open it, you would think you had to unscrew a lot. No, you don't. Um, it, they, these unscrew, all their fountain pens are made like one and then two. Kind of almost like one and a half. Like one and a half or two, maybe. Yeah, inside here is there. You can see the nice tip. And you can hopefully see the detail of that tip of the, well, not the tip, but the nib of here and you can see all the nice quality they have uh they done up here in the very tip it's got the 14 karat gold uh very nice all this is chrome and down below it and you can see the thread is well done with the resin here it complements the uh finish of the pin in here and inside here it's got the threads uh on the inside the resin i don't know that hopefully the camera can catch that in there the detail of everything they've done and all this um, uh, fountain pen here. But other than that, yeah, it's a very nice pen. If you guys were interested in picking it up to add to your collection, if you can find one, maybe, uh, like I said, give Donald a call. Uh, maybe He might be able to get you one of these uh, pens if you want to add it to your collection. He's able to get a lot of stuff uh, that's, uh, you know, when it becomes available in short demand. You know, uh, sometimes, you know, the demand is higher than the supply. So, yeah, he's done a really good job. And again, uh, when you want to fill this up with ink, you just uh, turn these to fill this up. And then you uh, dip it in your ink and then you close it up. And then you come uh, about six drops out and then you close it up. Then you're all set. Um, then you'll be ready to write. I know a lot of... Go ahead and put... Uh, I got some of this, uh, the Legend of Zodiac, the tiger red color ink uh i figured that would match pretty nicely you know with the ferrari here so let's uh take a quick look and see the color uh in here as you can see here um let me just shake it up a little bit but um we'll put a little towel here just in case we make a little spill but hopefully not so you guys always want to and that way uh, we can uh, kind of show you guys I normally, I mean, I, I would always put, you know, changing colors of, of all my fountain pens I use or test out. I always like to test out different colors and things like that. I've got other colors. But again, once again, um, you know, you can stick this in all the way up to here inside the ink. Uh, hopefully I can catch, you know, that video can catch that in here. I'm going to try to see if I can get this at a certain angle so you guys can see here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and back this out. So that way, um, when I put it in here, I, I just I'm gonna spin it and then uh, so I can uh, take the ink inside here. So let's see. So that way it can fill up the inside of it. And then, yeah, there you go. So you can see I'm pull, as I'm pulling it out, once you do that, you put enough ink in there. Uh, you want, what you wanna do is uh, back it up, like get back again, a couple, like three, two, three, or five. I usually do five drops and then I, I close it back up just in case it's got any kind of air or anything. Seems to, at least for me, it works. Then you, the, you want, I always close this because I don't want to be um, pretty clumsy and I'll spill this out. So I always try to close this right away as soon as I'm finished filling up. And then what I then I do is uh, see, you can see some of the ink that's on the uh, tip and then on the nib there. So I just kind of, just kind of like touch it like this with the, with a paper towel. Uh, don't, if you if you kind of go like this, it's gonna soak it up through there. See how it, it kind of. So you want to just kind of stay away from that. Just kind of a quick, quick wipe like this, and then you know you'll be okay. Uh, nothing else. Uh, don't rub it here too much again because then as you can see here, see it'll just uh, take out the ink in there. So yeah, once it once it's in there, you can see it's uh, very. No more, no more ink on the nib there, as you can see there. Actually, it has a little bit there, but that's okay. Um, actually, this one, 
this one doesn't seem to clink that good, but maybe I'll do a really quick, I never had it. There you go. Just a quick rub and that's uh, cleared it up, as you can see there. So yeah, um, this is, let's take a look at this color. Let me see if I have a piece of paper. You always want to, you know, have a nice, good paper for when you're doing with the fountain ink. Uh, because they actually write better. So um, let's see if, uh, let's see how this uh, kind of looks. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah, it writes very nicely. Again, it's got the pressure that you can see there. You know, no skip ink or anything as you can see from the tip. So yeah, it's a very fast and um, you know, just uh, I was just doing it quickly in here, writing in there. So yeah, this I, I really like the uh, feel of the fountain pen, and it's got a nice color in there. Hopefully that can, you guys can see. It's got it's a nice red. Uh, as you can see, this uh, matching pretty good. Uh, the color and the pen here, so a nice combo here. If you guys, I know they have the Ferrari red uh, ink for this, but I believe it's not available any longer from Mont Blanc. Uh, this again also this that uh, tiger red uh, is hard to get this color as well I don't think they ha I think Mont Blanc sold out on this one as well they don't have this color anymore uh, I believe they bring this uh, every like 10 years or so or seven or somewhere around there you guys uh, won't probably be using a, a pen like this uh, you know more of a collector's item so if you got your yeah, collector this is something I, I you know highly you know, would I would collect if I was a, you know, pen collector or something. Yeah. So, yeah, I hope this video helps. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. If you guys any have any questions, comments, uh, please leave them below. And um, once again, I want to thank you guys for watching. And please give me a thumbs up. Helps my channel a lot. Uh, this is that resin finish. It's very nice and smooth. So it's not that heavy. Again, it's not that bulky or anything. Um, it's a nice size uh, fountain pen there. So, yeah, thanks for again. Thanks for watching.